Greetings and welcome to this training video about how to manage permissions for a dashboard. There are two ways to do it. The first one is when you create a new dashboard. So let's start with that. So click on add a new dashboard and just give it a name. Let's say contacts dashboard. And by default, the dashboard will be set to private, which means it won't be visible to other people on your team and account. So again, you can switch off the toggle and you'll see all the rules for which you can change the permissions for. So make sure that you know there are four new options for permissions. You have full access, edit access, view access, and no access to learn more about how what all features are available for all these individual access rules. You can refer to our help article here. So we have created this small table, which shows like what all features are available at what level of permission. For example, you will see that in full people can do manage permissions, delete dashboard set as default edit clone view and duplicate to another as well so that the actions change as per the access rule or the permission for an individual user. So make sure that you know how these things work and going back to our dashboard so I can change it to let's say view view and view and also that the permissions will automatically change depending on the hierarchy of the rules for example let's say that I make this edit for account user I change it to edit so we'll see it automatically update the above rules to edit as well so this this follows a hierarchy so it will automatically change it as per the changes you make make it here so you don't have to worry about any conflicting conflicting issues with the permissions so I'll do it to full I'll change it to full I'll change this to edit and I'll keep the account users view and I can click on confirm so it'll create a new dashboard for me with those settings. Now the second way to manage permissions is how do you manage permissions for an existing dashboards. So in order to do that all you need to do is go to that dashboard and click on the three dot menu and you can click on manage permissions and you'll see that pop up again so you can make the changes as required and you can click on save now there is there is one difference on how the permission works depending on the rules so there are two main cases the first one is the agency view and the second one is the account view so the drop these options will change as per these two views so i'll quickly go back to a help document and just to show you how the views would differentiate so here you can see for the agency view you will see the options as we just saw for the dashboard because i was in an agency i was using an agency account user's email id so I'll see I'll be able to change the permissions for the agency user account admin and account user because you know we want to give like as the like proper control for agency people to give permissions. But let's suppose an account admin or an account user created a dashboard right so far for the end user. You want to keep you wanted to keep this view as minimal as possible so that they only you know see the options which matter to them so and you also wanted to hide any uses of the word agency for them so so that it doesn't create any conflict so for example if an account if anyone from an account goes on to create or manage a permission they'll see this view so you'll see the only difference here it is that only they'll be able to see the account admins and account users so they can change it so they can change the permissions for account admins, they can change the permissions for account users, and you can you'll also see that we have mentioned it here that in this case agency admins and agency users will always have full access to the dashboards created by account admins or users except private dashboards so by that I mean that if they have not enabled this private dashboard so by default the age all the agency admins and agency users will get full access to any dashboards created either by an account admin or an account user so you can take a look, or this you can take a look at this dashboard, is at this help article, to get a better understanding of how permissions work, we have explained how each level works, we have explained how different actions perform on different access rules, we have also explained different rules and restrictions, which we have on the permissions, and we have also explained the different views for both the roles as well. We have also explained how the hierarchy works which i just showed you on the dashboard and also gave given we have given a small you know step-by-step -step guide on how to update and manage permissions for the dashboards so i hope that helped thank you thanks for listening to this video about how to manage permissions for a dashboard for more videos like this or to make a request for additional training videos please go to the main menu and add a comment ticket